And now at 6, it's official. The Broward County School Board has voted to hire a new interim superintendent for a whopping $300,000 a year. Dr. Erlene Smiley is temporarily replacing former superintendent Dr. Vicki Cartwright after she was criticized for her leadership style and agreed to cut ties. As the board looks to a new leader, CBS 4's Joan Murray spent the day learning about Smiley and why the board is confident she's more than qualified for the job. Joan? And Lauren, you can tell she really wants to shake things up. Now, her philosophy is interesting. She said she looks at the system as everybody being on a bus, and she says some people are in the right seat, some people are in the wrong seat, and some people are just on the wrong bus. Anyway, she says she came back here mainly out of love. Congratulations, Dr. Smiley. So who is Dr. Erling Smiley, and why does she want to lead Broward schools? Love brought me forward. She says love for students and their parents is her motivation. Many of my students that I taught as a teacher, I was the principal of their students. Afterwards, I had a chance to ask a question. Dr. Smiley, what would you hope to accomplish in the time you're here? We need to assess, we need to diagnose and find out what uh, is functional, what is not functioning, and to make plans to address those issues. According to her contract, Dr. Smiley will be paid $300,000 a year. When a couple of board members suggested paying her less, some audience members were blunt. Which part of us you represent? Because you surely can't be this color. Now you can play like you, this is some type of fairy tale, that she's getting this great opportunity to, to walk into just to sit back and relax. We are in crisis. She's a leader. She's an educator and she's a reformer. She knows what an A district looks like. All in favor of BB7, say aye. 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 We oh, asked longtime school advocate Christina Brazil what she hoped Dr. Smiley will do. We'll have the resource in the classroom for the teachers, safety and security in the environments. I mean, that's what she needs to do and she seems old school that she has the capability of saying we need that done so I want to work with her and we'll see in a year maybe we'll have really great news. Now her work gets going today. Now the board is looking for a permanent superintendent. Uh, they say they hope to have that by July but it could take a lot longer than that. Reporting live in downtown Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.